Sean Service Mike from Royal Truck and Trailer. Today we're going to be talking about the upper coupler or fifth wheel plate. A little background about the fifth wheel plate is every year it has to be inspected. So at least you know your technicians or mechanics are, are looking at that. Your inspector is looking at it at least once a year, hopefully more than that. So let's dive in and take a look at uh, the differences between a freight box or dry van fifth wheel plate and a flatbed fifth wheel plate. So the tools needed to inspect a fifth wheel plate and pin are pretty simple. You need a good straight edge. We also have one that came with the cutout for the king pin that's kind of fancy, but a straight edge of any type will do. We have two different style pin checkers. They're both valid pin checkers. One is made from uh, steel, which is a little more rigid, and, and that's one we're gonna be using for our demonstration. There's also the blue plastic one that you see that does the exact same thing. These are go or no go gauges, which means they don't tell you in, in uh, micrometer inches what, what your pin is. They just tell you if it's safe or unsafe, and that is the, the criteria used. Of course, we have a few rags, we have a can of brake clean, we have our safety glasses, a flashlight, and an old scraper. So let's get started. To check your fifth wheel plate, what you wanna do is make sure that you have a clean area to work with, which is where our brake clean and rags come in and our scraper. And then we're going to just look at it and make sure that we don't see any cracks, any, any obvious stress, sometimes even rust holes. And uh, then we will clean our pin and we'll gauge our pin. Really want to feel the plate as you're cleaning it. Make sure there's no deep gouges or grooves made from a dry fifth wheel plate. This plate seems to be just fine. And make sure there's no deep gouges or grooves or in the pin as well. Same thing goes for the shoulder, which is the upper part. This is the part that actually knocks around inside the fifth wheel. You really want to feel that. Make sure that there's no deep gouges or grooves in it. So now we can take this very nice gauge here and check for flatness of the physical plate. That is done just by bringing this up. And as you can see, there is no light at all in and around this pin. Bring it fore and aft. It's a beautiful plate. You do not have to use that nice gauge. You can just get a nice flat edge this is an old ruler, works great. Clean it up when you're done. Flat, flat, flat. Beautiful. So now let's check our pin. We'll put the gauge around the king pin and we'll slide it on down just to where it gets taut. This pin is in great shape. If it were to slide all the way to the end, that would indicate the pin is overly worn and needs to be replaced. When you check your pin, check them on both sides. The shoulder starts out wider and goes to narrower. If we make it all the way to the end of it, we have a pin that the shoulder has been worn excessively and needs to be replaced. This pin tests out almost perfect. Okay, here's our plastic gauge. It's very similar to the other gauge. It is a go or no go. We will slide this up and it does not go, which means this pin still has plenty of material around it that it won't allow the gauge to go all the way to the end, indicating that it's worn. We'll also check the shoulder by sliding it up. It does not go, which means there's still plenty of meat on the shoulder. This pin is in fine shape. Flatbed fifth wheel plates are different than dry van or freight box fifth wheel plates in that they are constructed, welded right to the trailer frame. You cannot just purchase one and, and just slap it up there. It has to be pretty much fabricated around the frame of the trailer. So as you can see, this fifth wheel plate is welded right to the frame. Another thing you wanna look for is the frame webbing cracking up in here, indicating that the fifth wheel plate is actually coming loose and punching through the sides of the trailer. You have a nice big cross member back here supporting the back of the plate. Okay, we will do the same process with our flatbed. We will clean them some places off and we will take a look and make sure that our pin gauge is good and that our plate is nice and flat 
no cracks or breaks. Chuck for square. Not liking that very much. You can see the gap in the other side. Fore and aft is perfectly flat. I believe what we have is some rust and corrosion on this side causing our gauge to stick up a little. Break that off a little bit on both sides. Give it a recheck. Much better, but you can see, especially right where the fifth wheel rides, there is a small air gap. Nothing to be alarmed about, though. Take a look. Make sure there's no cracks. If there were to crack, it would probably be from drain hole to drain hole. Very good for its age. Let's see what the pin says. So as you notice, I slide it in from the side rather than going from the front because we kind of know with all of the pulling, it's going to wear the front and back of the pin more than the sides. So that's why we know historically that the pin is going to be worn more from the front and the back. So we always put the gauge in front to back. This one went a little further than I expected. And I can't even turn it to the front, which means sides are of course better and they barely show anywhere so front to back we're still good on the shoulder we're still good so this pin and plate does pass its DOT inspection everything's still in great shape so today was all about the upper coupler the fifth wheel plate and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something about how to inspect them and what to look for. So if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. We'd love to hear your comments. We'd love to hear your suggestions. Uh, anything you think you'd like to see us do in a future video, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you, have a great day.